tell us a little bit about uh, what's going on in Iran and the news coverage. Um, we've heard reports. Uh, I don't know if you have any knowledge of the news gathering, the challenges, or what's going on the last couple of days, or what's happening now, and how you guys are managing. Well, we're managing that in a more traditional way because it's such a, a uh, difficult and dangerous environment. We brought in a group of reporters and producers, crews, um, but we're monitoring it via Twitter and via other social networks to try and gather information that we might not have been able to gather two, three, four years ago. And how does the uh, news gathering work? Is it traditional satellite uplinks, FTP, smaller cameras? In Iran? In Iran it's everything. It's, it's people there, uh, there's a lot of FTP, there's sat phones, there's some traditional uplinking. It depends on the correspondent and what the, the time frame is, what program or what platform that they're servicing. It's a big story. Uh, hard to cover, I suppose, or...? It's a big story. It's difficult to cover, yes, and no question. I mean, the government is not particularly friendly towards Western journalists, uh, and that's an understatement. Uh, but it's one that our guys are and, and women are very familiar with covering. Great. So tell us a little bit about, um, you know, digital news, both the production, consumption. Um, I understand you have some new uh, digital uh, staffers. Uh, you know, tell us about some of the emerging forms of digital journalism there at ABC News. Um, we've recognized that on the web and in the mobile space, the uh, content, while much of the stuff that we do in normal broadcast is very valuable, very highly desired, we have to supplement that. There's an, there seems to be an infinite capacity for consumption uh, in these, these emerging media, new media. Um, and some of that media needs to be of a different style because we're dealing with a different audience. I tell the people who work with me that every platform has its own audience and we need to think about programming to it. The iPhone audience is different from the Sprint platform, which is different from the Mobi TV platform, which is different from the people who go to GMA.com, etc. So each platform, each distribution medium has its own unique programming needs and we have to create programming for that in addition to giving them the best of what ABC News is currently creating. But we put out in a month on average 80 million video clips to all sorts of different partners yeah. and even that isn't enough. So we're constantly looking for new ways, interesting ways, less expensive ways to talk to the audience of every platform that we serve. Is there a digital form of reporting that's different than what would be traditional network reporting, or is it similar? I wouldn't say it's it's uh, distinctly different. It's more attitudinal. Um, we we still very much want to distribute something which is conforms to the standards and practices of ABC News, but we also understand that the demographic on certain platforms is different. It may be more male skewing, more female skewing, maybe younger, maybe older. So we try to address that by creating content. Content creation, as you know, is very, very expensive. So we're looking for different ways. We're looking to use flip phones. We're looking to have correspondents film themselves. We're looking to let people edit on their own Macs or on their own PCs. Um, so we're bringing in new techniques, less expensive techniques, different points of view, different attitudes to address each user uh, in a way that is the, the best for them.